Alvin and Servetus. In Geneva, Switzerland, there was dedicated in 1912 a monument bearing the following inscription. In memory of Michael Servetus, victim of religious intolerance of his time and burned for his convictions at Champel on September 27, 1553, erected by the followers of John Calvin. 350 years later, as expiation for that act and to repudiate all coercion in matters of faith. Thus have the followers of John Calvin demonstrated to the world that they have progressed far beyond the teachings of their leader in the spirit of true Christianity, the spirit of justice, of love. Calvinists deserve congratulations on their progress from all Christians, Catholics and Protestants, all of whom have been making similarly good progress during the intervening four centuries. None now would justify Calvin's course in sentencing Servetus to be burned. Others burned at the stake usually had the fuel piled at their feet. The flames were inhaled with the smoke, and the victim was speedily unconscious to suffering. For Servetus, satanic ingenuity arranged the burning faggots at a distance. He literally roasted alive in horrible torture nearly five hours. In the name of God, of Jesus, of righteousness, truth, justice, love, Christianity, and civilization. It seems remarkable that only now are we realizing that a man so deficient in the spirit of his master as to murder his brother should not be an accepted teacher of the word of God and its spirit. Only now are Bible students realizing that Brother Calvin was not the inventor of the doctrine of election, but merely of the doctrine that all the non-elect would suffer everlastingly. Now we see that the terms, the elect, the very elect, are Bible terms, and that those who make their calling and election sure will be glorified in the first resurrection. Now we see that the elect will be associated with Jesus in his kingdom, which will bless the non-elect, all the families of the earth. Thank you.